Irie yeah. says, with lots and lots of self-compassion for the journey. Reese, that's something that, I mean, obviously, right, yeah. But how? And that's something that I, I kind of struggle with. Kind of, but not really. Because it's important, but you can't just turn it on, right? Right. You can't just turn on self-compassion. Right. And that kind of has to come from some level of regulation, right? So it's like you already have to have some level of regulation in order to give yourself more compassion or to give yourself compassion so that you can have more regulation. So it's, it's, it's this odd, it feels like kind of like a paradox where in order to have compassion, we have to be regulated, but we're trying to give ourselves compassion to be regulated. I disagree. So it seems like we kind of have to have a little bit of regulation in order to have compassion and then to give ourselves more regulation. Um, I disagree. I think, I think because I, so I definitely struggled with self-compassion my whole life until I heard about polyvagal theory and that because it's, it's, this is just biological. This is just how mammals, this is, I am just one of infinite mammals on the planet right now with a nervous mm -hmm. system that has its own needs and the needs are predicated on the history of its experiences and its adaptive changes that, you know, had sorted through and, you know, we come to this present moment and whatever's in front of me, like the clutter or the kid or, you know, the homework or the business plan or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, for me to be dysregulated, it, it takes the, the moral part of it just all the way out. It's mm. gone. There's yep. no, so part of why I was unable to feel compassion for myself in the past is because I didn't believe I deserved it. And to say that I'm just a mammal like every other mammal, then we all deserve it. I, yeah, totally agree with you. Yeah. So does that, do, so that top down new, like knowledge level opens up compassion? Is that kind of what you're saying? It's my, it's my entry point for sure. Yeah, because yeah, as yeah. I'm like spinning and jumping and I, you know, and maybe it's because I've been practicing with this, you know, regulating and start, like movement efforts to, you know, the stuff we talked about you know, maybe before safety anchors with like, if you're in a shutdown state, what types of movements can get you out of it? And they have to be like small and, you know, tiny. And then if you're in agitation, like what kinds of movements help you regulate? Yeah. I can, I can, I can sort of grab those tools without judging myself for needing them. Does that make sense? Like, I don't have to, I don't have to, go into my history or describe myself as a trauma survivor or anything. I can just say this particular mammal is yeah. in need of this particular solution. And I don't yeah. necessarily, I didn't know it originally, but I've been working with it and getting better at it. So it seems to be true. Yeah. That makes total sense. I'm, I'm definitely with you. You broke up a little bit, but yeah, I, I think that you, everything you were saying. Yeah. Like, and I, I agree having that top down new narrative or, or I would call it foundational knowledge is understanding that level of what makes us us right. I think it does open up a lot of potential for self-compassion and it makes um, self-regulation a bit more, a lot more, I think, objective. And it, it does take the, the valuation, the, the morality, you called it, out of it, the judgment, the valuation of ourselves and our worth and our potential and whatnot. Hey, thank you for watching this clip from one of my open office hours. This is something that I do once a month for people who have signed up for one of my courses. If you're interested in joining a course and joining me on the next open office hour, go to my website. It is justinlmft.com. This and other content I create is not therapy, not intended to be therapy or be a replacement for therapy. Nothing in this creates or indicates a therapeutic relationship. Please consult with your therapist or seek for one in your area if you're experiencing mental health symptoms. Nothing should be understood to be specific life advice. It is for educational and entertainment purposes only.